Ông Quỳnh Châu. President, please be seated. The court is now back in session, and the chamber gives the floor back to the international co-prosecutor to resume the questioning. You may now proceed. Um, sir, on Thursday, we started talking and it was read to you something you had told to DC Cam about before you took the trip with Sao Pim, the final trip when he attempted to go to Phnom Penh, that he went and he met with Hang Sem Rin. And on page in English 01353388, in Kamai 01340585, and in French at 013-45523. You said that Sao Pim told Hang Sem Rin. He said he was going to Phnom Penh to sort things out. He said that I'm going to Phnom Penh. If I disappear for just one week, you, Rin, go into the, for the forest, gather however many there are left, and go into the forest to struggle. So I have a couple questions for you. What did you mean when you said that, that what did Sao Pin mean when he said he wanted to sort things out? What did you understand him to mean when he said he was going to Phnom Penh to sort things out? I heard that he was sent to solve some issues in Phnom Penh with the, the senior leadership. I, at the time, did not know his internal affairs. He said in that, um, what you told DC Cam, what I just read, you said, Sao Pim, you quoted him as saying, gather however many there are left. Do you know what he meant when he said, however many there are left? Was he referring to, what was he referring to? They were those who were spared uh, from the arrests. These people were gathered up, to my uh, understanding. To my understanding, they were uh, gathered up uh, to engage in the resistance movement. So when you say those who were spared, are you talking about East Zone cadre who had not been arrested by Center or Southwest forces? But that is correct. That's all. So now I understand that you did go with him on this trip to Phnom Penh. Can you tell us, in addition to yourself and Sao Pim, how many others did he bring with him? I went with others who were from my group. Uh, we went together with him. Well, you said Sao Pim controlled several divisions and that there were district and zone level forces. How many combatants went with him on that trip? Besides you, how many other armed uh, individuals? I do not know about that. If you ask me this question, you ask me this question, and I cannot figure it out. I do not really know. 
Sung Chang. That's all I can say. Sir, I'm a little confused because when you spoke to DC Cam last year, you told them this. And this is on the next page from the one I quoted. You were asked how many persons were there who went, who you say went to Phnom Penh, and you said nine persons, including him, my group, two drivers, one cook, himself, and however many my group was, altogether nine persons. Is that correct, what you told DC Cam last year? But no. Yes, that is what I told the DC Cam. I stand by that statement. Uh, nine of us went with him, and that uh, number includes the drivers. Did Sao Pim indicate to you who he wanted to speak to? Did you ever hear him say who it was in Phnom Penh he planned to talk to? He did not tell me who he would meet. I uh, stopped at uh, Wat Una Laum, where I arrested, and he uh, continued his uh, trip. And I did not know whether, he, whether or not he reached his uh, uh, destination at the time. Well, Mr. Witness, you told DC Cam in great detail about what happened on that trip to you and to Sao Pim. So I'd like you, in your own words, to tell the judges now we're very interested in knowing what you saw and heard on that trip and the events that transpire. You've indicated in the answer I just read that you left, there were nine of you in two, two vehicles. Where did you go? Please tell the judges, where did you go and what happened? I am confused with your question and I do not really get your question. I was told that I had to go to Phnom Penh, and for other issues, it, it's beyond my understanding. President, the question is meant to seek your clarification and description when you left Spray Wang for Phnom Penh with Sao Pem. So, uh, the co-prosecutor wants you to give a description, uh, particular, for example, modes of uh, your transportation and uh, what did you see and observe at the time. So, Do you understand that, uh, Mr. Witness? Witness? Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, thank you for your clarification. I went up to Phnom Penh using a short cut or small roads and there were uh, bridges uh, made out of uh, palm trees. Uh, I went through a difficult uh, uh, period on the way to Phnom Penh. President, when did you leave uh, Prey Wang with Sao Pem? And you stated that uh, you uh, were crossing the uh, bridges uh, made out of uh, palm trees before you reach uh, Ariksat. So which roads uh, did you use at the time? You have testified in the previous case file. Do you understand my question? 
the question I believe is clear to you, particularly the question is focusing on your trip from uh, Preven to Arikshad. Witness, I left Preven and I passed Prekla village and Prekna. I, at one particular time, reached uh, Pretamia. Frankly, at the time, I did not know the directions very well, and I did not know the names of some location. All I know is that I arrived at Araiksat. I left Preveng uh, northward to Swayanto, Preveng and Pnu. We uh, used a lot of roads, and I at the time did not uh, know clearly the geographic areas. I was told that I arrived at Areksat uh, or uh, Pretamia. Uh, at one point in time, I was told that I passed Sniper. That is all I know. Okay, sir. When you arrived, at Ankre Sat, forgive my pronunciation. Were you still with Sao Pim and the other seven people? Was it still the nine of you together? Yes. Nine of us. Uh, there were nine of us when, when we arrived at Arik Sat. That's all. You arrived at Arek Sat. Did you spend the night there? Correct. We spent uh, almost a night there, and then at 2 or 3 o'clock, there was an incident. Please explain what happened. At the scene of the incident, let me describe it for you. We arrived at a house in a farm or plantation full of banana trees and tobacco plants and vegetables, of, uh, namely uh, pumpkins and uh, watermelon, winter melon, uh, were grown at some uh, areas. We rested there, and it was at 2 or 3 o'clock so when a, an incident happened. We were surrounded, and guns were fired at us. He it was uh, on the steel house, and he came down and asked what happened. And I, was, I told him that uh, fires were shot at us uh, by some soldiers, and we at the time counter uh, fires. I went uh, to tell him. And he told me to tell others to stop firing guns and rifles. We were then, we then uh, tried to find routes or roads to leave. There was a person in the farm or plantation knowing the way to get out of that uh, house. We left, we could leave. Uh, about uh, 30 or 40 meters, then the fires were shot at us again. We had to run, and we uh, had to gather forces to counter the attack. It was at that point in time when I departed from him. I was on a motorboat. The engine started, uh, was started by me. I 
uh, was in the boat uh, waiting for him and uh, some other people together with him on the uh, uh, land were running. I was waiting in a boat but n uh, in no way. Then I uh, tried to find a place to rest. I thought at the time I would die because uh, I was surrounded by others. I resisted uh, with them. I tried to uh, run away in order to save my life. And then I jumped into uh, the lake, to, to a lake, and I uh, remained staying under the water, the, under the water raisins. I uh, was trying my best to swim uh, to another side of the lake. Then I left for my birthplace. I stayed in the water from time to time, and I uh, tr tried my best to hide in the waters to avoid uh, uh, the gunfires. I know. I, I knew at the time that I was surrounded by them, so I took a risk, running and playing. Then I arrived at a house, hiding myself there. After a while, I left that house and hid myself behind a water tank, a big water pot. Those people uh, suspected that I was hiding in the, in the house, so they uh, were surrounding that house. Later on, I arrived at Vihiesu, where I was arrested, and I was arrested at the time, as I, as I said. Uh, they wanted uh, to kill me, but uh, they first kept me, and they made a report that uh, there was a person from the uh, southwest, running from the southwest. At the time, everyone knew that uh, a person from the southwest was arrested. Uh, there, there were some people knowing me, so I was released and placed in a district office. At the time, uh, the southwest uh, zone people were approaching uh, that uh, Vihiesu district, so I uh, took risks running again and fleeing that location. It was a long uh, journey that I had to uh, flee. I have already uh, told about that experience in the, the statement. This is a brief uh, summary from me. Okay, thank you very much for that. Now, um, I do need some details. I want to go back to when you were at Akrisat. First of all, was that location where you spent the night near a river? It was not close to a river. I. It was about 100 meters uh, from the uh, river where I started uh, the boat's engine. It was raining and uh, very dark uh, that night. I, I was disoriented at the time. I had to walk, uh, spend time walking uh, quite a long way as well at the time. When you were with Sao Pim and you stopped to spend the night at Acre Sat, was that just across the river from Phnom Penh? 
I was at Arik Sat and it, I did not cross to the other side of uh, the river. I stayed in a house in a plantation of farm. My question was, when you were with Sao Pim and you stopped, Sao Pim stopped at Akre Sat for the night, was that a location just across the river from Phnom Penh where you could see the royal palace? But yes, it was on another side of the river. I could see the royal palace. So it was uh, on another side of the river, the place where I stopped. And did some people come to your location and give you news, give your group news about what was happening inside Phnom Penh at that time? People were fleeing, people from uh, different units were fleeing. It was chaotic at the time. Some people had been arrested and uh, I was told by some about the incident. Well, these arrests in the city, who did you hear? Who was being arrested? I do not know who were arrested. But those who worked and were linked to the East Zone were all arrested. That's all I can say. Now, why, while you were there, did Sao Pim attempt to send any messages into the city? <laughs> 